Hello and welcome to TPM's Format Friday. Today we're going to take a look at reporting elevation heights. Um, we get this uh, come up in support calls occasionally and people wanting to know how they can move their building because the deliverable requires elevations to be true to the site rather than a generic project based or an assumed elevation that might be convenient for the project itself. So we're going to spend a little bit of time to show you how we can do that. So let's slide over to Revit and we'll take a look at that. And you'll see, uh, as usual, we've got a simple project here. The idea is that you'll see that uh, we've got our elevations shown first floor, second floor, and roof, 0, 12, and 24 feet. So oftentimes, this is the way we'd want to work in a project. It's easy to work with. We got starting with 0, elevation height to 12, and they can make it 12 foot 2, 12 foot 6. We can make those changes easy enough. However, uh, the owner or the site or requirements for the owner might require that true elevations be used based off the site itself. So a lot of customers will come in and say, well, that's the issue. This is all we got to do is come in here and change the elevation to, say, two feet. Uh, however you do that, all sorts of problems come into play. So that's really not a good solution. To physically move the building up is, is not a very good solution normally, uh, unless it's done from the very beginning. Uh, especially if you're into the project a little bit, this can have downstream problems with your HVAC system, your electric or your HVAC uh, equipment, the mechanical duct work. All that stuff had to be repositioned. It could be rather painful to do downstream, uh, not to mention all the structural stuff would have to be repositioned as well. Uh, usually what a better solution, especially if this comes up uh, after the project has started and there's been some time built into it, is to simply change the reporting values of your elevation markers. We do that by simply going in and telling Revit we want to change reporting coordinates. So you see under the Manage tab up top here, we can go into our coordinates drop down, and from the coordinates we can specify coordinates at a point. Now maybe at a later date we'll go a little bit deeper into this with uh, state plane coordinate systems and working with different northing and eastings, but for now we're just talking about the elevation work. This is by far the easiest way to do this. So we want to specify a new coordinate at an elevation. We pick on the command, and you see in the bottom left corner it says select a reference to display its shared coordinate. So just be aware that the term shared coordinate is also uh, means uh, survey point. Revit and the help menus of Revit use the shared coordinate and survey point pretty much interchangeably. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick on this level line and we're going to indicate that maybe the true elevation for that site is uh, 2,100 and 13.5 feet, uh, someplace uh, up in the uh, foothills or mountains someplace. We pay OK. A lot of people do this and say, well, it failed because it doesn't change anything. Uh, this is where you have to ch choose how you want your uh, elevations to be reported in the elevation marker. If we pick on that level line, it still shows zero. And again, this would be nothing more than changing the physical elevation, as I showed earlier, which is problematic. However, if you go to the definition of the uh, level marker and we go to edit type, here's where you can see we have a project base point, which is what we're working with. We're saying we want our project base point to be zero. It's easy to work with. It's something I'm going to work on or with probably 95, 98 percent of the time. And it's only for publication or exporting out to surveyors or who needs whatever owner needs the actual elevation to be visible can be done. But if we want to do that, we can now switch over. Since we have set the survey point at a different elevation point, we simply tell the uh, leveling grid lines that we want to report the survey point elevations, not the project based elevations. When we do that, then all of a sudden all these levels show the elevation based off of this known point. And you see it updates it. Now, since this is a uh, type definition, all of our elevations will show this. We don't have to go to each view since we're telling this level line item to use that particular um, elevation height. So there you go. Uh, the idea here is that uh, we could switch this back and forth on our day-to-day -day work. We probably want to work with our project point just to make uh, life a little bit easier. But then when we need to, uh, before we print, before we publish, or when we export this out, we can tell Revit we want the survey point, sorry, we want the survey point to be used for the uh, indicator. So it reports out the survey point or the true elevation for the site. 
So hopefully that'll help you out. Uh, we've had quite a few customers ask for that. And again, we don't want to physically move the building after the fact. We just want to change the reporting values. And uh, that'll do it for this week's 4-Minute Friday. Thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.